There are some fun new effects in After Effects, courtesy of the new bundled Psycore HD package, which increases the previous number of Psycore filters by a dozen and upgrades the whole Psycore package to 16 or 32 bits. And there are 10 additional built-in After Effects plugins that have been updated to 32 bits as well. And while this all sounds great, you may never have realized why 32 bits is even a big deal and why you should care, especially if you're outputting an 8-bit final movie. Well, let's take a look at this comp. It has a background with trees, a simple saturated text layer with the word fireflies, and a lime green colored solid with a card wipe effect applied. In this case, I'm using card wipe as a particle system to generate these floating squares. And note, card wipe is an 8-bit per channel effect. If we switch our color space to 32 bits per channel, and we can do that quickly by just Option or Alt clicking on this little tag here, we can see a little caution sign now appears next to this filter telling us that the plugin might be trouble. Well, if I want to make this scene look a little prettier and a little more convincing, I'd want to make all of this stuff glow. And while there are a few ways to make things in After Effects glow, my favorite is to use a few simple filters in 32-bit space, where colors can be super bright. Now what does that mean? Well, in After Effects, colors are represented by three channels, red, green, and blue. And the transparency is in the alpha. And in 8-bit space, the pixels in a channel have a range from 0 to 255. Whereas in 16-bit space, the color range is 0 to a little over 32,000. This is why you can process a 16-bit per channel file a lot more before you start running into image degradation. 32-bit is another matter. To keep things tidy, it stores the normal color range in a value between 0 and 1. But here's the cool trick. You can actually go above the visible color values and create whites that are whiter than white, called super brights or over brights, and you can create super blacks too, although those are perhaps less generally useful for design. Super brights are very useful for creating glows and other illumination effects. For example, let's use the new 32-bit cross blur effect to give our particles here a nice stylized blur. But also notice they're rapidly fading away. To make them glow, we just need to apply the new 32-bit fill effect. Let's place it in the stack above the blurs and crank up our green and red channels until we get a nice glowing firefly green. Beautiful. But what about this 8-bit card wipe effect? Well, since it's at the top of the stack, it's not hurting anything. The 32-bit effects are happening after it. However, if we move it down the stack, for example, apply the fill first and then apply card wipe, you'll see that the 32-bit behavior of fill gets killed, and everything from card wipe up in the stack will be clamped back to 8-bit. This is why it is so important that there are lots more 32-bit effects in After Effects CS6. So let's apply a box blur to our text layer to fuzzy it up a bit. Then let's over brighten the green in our text layer to make it glow as well. As you can see, we can get these very organic looking multicolor glows that really look fantastic. And let's say we need to make this italic, but this particular font only has one flavor. Well, even though After Effects does not have a native skew property down in the timeline, it does have skew available to us in the transform effect, which is now also wonderfully updated to 32 bit. So we can use transform to add a little bit of slant to our text and not worry about messing up our glow effect. And that's why we're so happy that After Effects CS6 has updated a lot of new effects to 32 bits.